Hi everyone. After Anthem's launch this year, gamers all around the world just put Bioware in the hot seat. The hottest among those issues is loot rate, and actually happened this day. Well, maybe some just way too lucky with legendary gears. Now let's go away with the topic. Anthem's graphics rendering is obviously excellent. From the detailed texture of your javelin and going outside Bastion, the scenery is just eye popping. With that, how is your system doing so far? When Anthem was released, it was just using a Gigabyte RX 460 GPU. Let me share with you how an old 2016 released GPU is holding up to a AAA game 2019 release, like Anthem. I'm using an AMD FX8320 Visual Processor. HyperX 16 GB DDR3 ROM, MSI 978G43 motherboard. Yeah, my system is kinda old, but how is it holding up with AAA games like Anthem? Let's compare different settings from low to ultra. Now, this is a low setting. What is the texture and the details of the objects? It's kind of blurry. At the upper right, upper left, I mean, we have our uh, FPS counter to check how we are doing with the settings. This area in Fort Tarsus is trust with the GPU. I'm not sure why, but notice how the FPS and low settings can handle that. We'll see more of the stress test in the next settings though. Let's go out of Tarsus for more stress tests. Observe the FPS counter. We are in 32 of 40 FPS and doing good. No stutters and aura uh, freezing moments. If I may say, Anthem in low settings with RX forces is doing excellent and very playable. Alright, now let's move along to the uh, medium settings. Here we go. Mid settings. Let's put a bit more stress to the GPU. By the way, the utilization of the CPU is uh, 90 to 100 percent at this time, in which I was able to capture that in this video. Now, this is what I'm talking about here in this part of town. I'm not sure why the screen stutters this much in this area. Do you have any experience with this class as well? And another freezing. Notice how the FPS drops. Now let's take it to the stronghold. Suiting up. And there you go, we have a uh, of grub stuttering. But I think our system may hold on. And another freezing and stuff. Well, this is just in the mid settings. More effects. More abrupt freezing at this time. Notice the FPS counter with no mobs, it's uh, 50 FPS. Okay, let's take on the Queen. I think it's playable in uh, mid settings with the RX 460. Your system is just holding on. Well, next time I expect big ass bugs to be in the mission briefing. This world just doesn't know everything. Yeah, we're doing good with mid settings. I think we should uh, take it up the high settings now. Squish hard with our system. Even 
Go okay, here we go. Let's move on now with the high settings. There you go. There we go, another stuttering and freezing in this part of town, in this part of Fort Tarsus. And the CPU or the processor is actually 100% utilization. Got another abrupt freezing here. And look at that. This part in Fort Tarsus, I'm not really sure why it gives that much graphics rendering. Okay, let's do it up. Let's take the stronghold. Okay, there you go. Another abrupt freezing. System still holding on in high settings. Bonus round. There is actually two mobs here in Tyrant Mine where you kill these two mobs and a legendary mob is going to spawn. See? In high settings, it's still playable. Obvious how the uh, FPS counter fluctuates 30 to 40, and then now we have the 50. In high settings, we've got 30 each FPS. Which is quite playable. Okay, so I think we have enough. Arx for 60 is playable in high settings. Let's try with more graphics rendering. Okay, I think we're holding on. Uh oh. Yeah, notice how the FPS drops, 30 FPS, but it's stable. 30 to 31. Another stat ring over screen. But it's playable. Very good in high settings. Can't really compare RX 460 to the RX 580, but it's still playable. Not bad. Okay, now let's take to the most highest settings, so the ultra settings. Okay, here we go. Notice how the texture is now more detailed than any other setting. Notice the FPS counter is 20, 23, but we don't have uh, freezing or stuttering. Okay, let's suit up and take the stronghold. Go more uh, graphical effects. Notice the FPS count. It drops, but there's no stuttering. Maybe we're pushing the uh, system too hard now. Ultimate. Notice how the FPS drops. Can't even reach 30 FPS. No stuttering. There you go. A little bit of a, a stutter and abrupt freezing, but we're all good. Still, still playable in ultra settings. Notice the FPS counter is just 20 now. Yeah, 
when it's shaking ultra settings, some scenes are just blurry. Iron Man mode. There. It's shaky and blurry at the same time. So I think Onyx First 60 is still playable with today's AAA games, of course, in uh, say mid to uh, high settings, if I may say. Low is very playable in low settings. So in that case, in my opinion, the RX 460 GPU is still playable, even with AAA games like Anthem. In ultra settings, we didn't have, I think, we didn't even reach 30 FPS. Just look at the texture. Yes, yeah, so there is my specs, my system specs, and it's still playable with Anthem. So, what do you guys think? How about your system? How is it holding on with Anthem? Any FPS, FPS drops? Uh, in any other part of Port Tarsus or in any maps, let us know. Also, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Thank you for watching our videos.